Hey everybody, Xanderman112 here doing a video showing you how to enable multiple user accounts on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. I'm running CyanogenMod 10 on my Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. I'll go into the settings and show you that right now. Go to About Phone, Android 4.1.1, right there. Okay, so we're going to go back. Now to do this, you go into the terminal emulator. So we're going to go in here. And you have to get super user access. So you type SU. So the video, I'm using my brother's phone and holding my phone in the other hand. So we bring up the keyboard. You type get SU. Then you type in PM space create dash user space and then you give it a name so we're gonna call it guest hit enter now that command is done so we're going to hit home now you'll see this is my home screen setup right here we're gonna hold the power menu we now have two new options primary and guest these are users primary is mine guest is the one we just created so we're gonna hit guest the lock screen you'll notice the wallpaper changed so we're gonna unlock now it takes us to the tutorial. Make yourself at home. Well, we already know this. This is my phone. Alright. If you go into the settings, it should... Yeah, see, it didn't do it this time. That's why this isn't complete. If you... When you normally do this, you only get a few settings for your temporary um, account. It only lets you do Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, I think sound display um, and about phone maybe something else there's not much you can really choose in here when you when it works right the reason why it doesn't work right is because most of the time this running apps list doesn't get closed when switching between users so it leaves all the apps open that the last user ran and their states don't get closed, so I bet even if I go into the settings now, it's still going to be, yeah, normal. But I have run this, and I've got screenshots in a thread where I'm posting these instructions that I'll link in the description below of what it's supposed to look like. Basically, if you have the right launcher installed, so like I've got Apex launcher, you know, launch here, you could go into the well, Apex settings drawer and hidden apps. This is useful because you can hide every app from the app drawer that you don't want other people using. So you don't want cousin Johnny that's going to be borrowing your phone to play Temple Run from getting your text messages and from getting on your Google Plus. So you do that, you hit save, you go back, obviously you go back, and in the Apex Launcher app drawer Google Plus is no longer there and neither is your messaging. So once you go on the guest profile, little cousin Johnny can't mess with your messaging. Now you'd think well, it would be easy for them to just go here and go to the primary. If you set up a lock screen, security lock screen on your primary account, it will prevent them from getting in it. Each user has different lock screen choices. I did this earlier when, of course, I wasn't recording the video, and when it was working right for me, and it worked out pretty well, but then I deleted it, of course, so that I could start from the beginning and show you guys what to do. So forgive me for this unfinished code not working correctly. Anyway, so I'm back on the primary user, and you're done messing around with this whole guest profile thing, and you want to get rid of it. You go back into your terminal emulator. After switching from it back to your primary, you go in here and you type in. It should still be running, so you should you should still have super user. If you don't, just type su again. Then type pm space remove dash user. Now here, excuse me, let me fix that typo. Now here you have to call the user one. The primary user is number 0. The second added user is user 1. The third added user is number 2, so on and so on. So we're going to hit enter, and that command will go through. 
Now to test this, there's two ways. You can hold the power menu and it should no longer give you an option to choose which user you are. Or two, you can type in PM, again, PM, space, list, dash, users. Hit enter. If it says user info, zero, primary, three, just like this, that means you only have one user on your phone, and that's the main, the primary. If there's anything else on here, you still have other accounts on there, and you need to remove them, of course, if you so choose. I think this is really cool. This is what is going to separate Android from the other operating systems out there, and bring them bring it more into line with say desktop like windows or you know just main linux so if you like this video you know rate you don't have to subscribe because i don't put much out there but please like this video and share it with your friends because i'm sure other people would love to see that what they can do with a phone running google's latest wonderful operating system thanks for watching goodbye